The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Problem number three. Problem number three states, an escalator is used to move 20 people at 60 kilograms each per minute from the first floor of a department store to the second floor, five meters above. Neglecting friction, the power requires approximately what? Solve problem, you always figure out what you're trying to find. For this problem, we're trying to find out power. Okay. Now, next obvious step is to look over what information we're given. We know that we're given 20 people at 60 kilograms each. That's a total mass of 1,200 kilograms, right? Okay, so then we know it says per minute, so now we know that the time is 60 seconds or one minute. You always want to keep things in seconds as much as possible because that's often the form, that, that's the standard unit to use for most physics equations. So the figure that you're given That's the escalator, it's five meters from top to bottom, okay? So, we know the height, we know the time, and we know the mass. So, what do we want to do? We're trying to find power. What is power? Power is equal to work over the change in time, okay? So, that means we have the change in time, 60 seconds, but we don't know the work done yet. Work is equal to force times distance. We don't have the proper information for to find out force. So what, do we, what else is work equal to? Work is equal to change in energy. It's moving at a steady pace. So kinetic energy here is the same as kinetic energy there because it's the same mass and the same velocity. But it's going up higher. So that means there's a change in potential energy due to gravity. You're five meters higher, that means you have more potential energy than where you were at the bottom floor. So, in this particular case, for this problem, is the change in potential energy. All right? So that means U final minus U initial. Okay? Now, U initial, at the bottom, the height is zero. The height is zero, and since we know U is equal to MGH, with the height being zero, is multiplied throughout and the whole thing equals to zero. So this goes away. So we only care about U final. Right? How much energy potential energy do we do we gain from this escalator? Going five meters higher. So work is going to be equal to mass. Twelve hundred kilograms times G ten meters per second squared, just rounding, times uh, H five meters. Okay, so work is going to equal to sixty thousand, sixty thousand joules. Right? Five, ten times twelve hundred would be equal to 12,000 times 5, 60,000. Pretty simple. Now, once we get to 60,000, we have to still we have to find power. So power is equal to 60,000 joules over 60 seconds. That reduces down to 1,000 1, joules per second. We can cross that out and we can put watts because joules per second and watts are the same thing. That's your answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.